What's up guys and thanks for joining us as we go through another week of indie games coming to your consoles. With January firmly upon us now, it's fair to say that these lists are getting pretty meaty. But without me banging on any more, let's take you through every indie game coming to your consoles this week. Remember the good old days of grinding your way through virtual tennis career? Well, these good old days may be back with AO Tennis, the official Australian open tennis game from developers Big Ant Studios. The game has been built from 10 years worth of player data and the latest motion capture technology to bring us some very impressive photorealistic visuals. Although AO Tennis is the official game of the Australian Open, it offers the opportunity to play on all court types and progress in a multi-competition career. More importantly, AO Tennis features a pretty robust character customization tool, so you can literally stand on the opposite side of the net as Rafa. AO Tennis is releasing on Xbox One and PS4 on the 16th of January. What Albert loved most was snatched in the night. The shadows to blame took her out of his sight. He knew he must find her, or forever be lost. He knew he must go, whatever the cost. Albert and Otto is a dark puzzle platformer that takes players on a thought-provoking adventure for a 1939 Germany. The story revolves around the mysterious girl with bunny ears, and it's up to the young Albert and the girl's magical bunny, Otto, to piece together the clues and find the missing girl. To progress through the haunting world, Albert and Otto will need to work together. Albert can shoot, which is always handy, and Otto can fit through tight gaps, which is also very handy. Players will need to use their logic to overcome the multitude of puzzles the game will challenge you with. Albert and Otto released on Xbox One last week, and is coming to PS4 on the 16th of January. Inner Space is a flying game like no other. The game takes place in the final days of the Inverse, a world inside our planet where gravity pulls out rather than in. Exploring this stunning world, you're tasked with the challenge of finding the last remaining memories, memories that will soon be lost forever. This unique flight exploration game will see you soaring through skies, diving deep beneath ancient waves and gliding through ancient civilizations. And although the entire civilization may have died, their gods still stand very much tall. Inner Space is a flight game that offers you complete freedom inside its unique world, where exploration is the only way to progress. You can get your hands on Inner Space when it releases on Xbox One, PS4 and Nintendo Switch on the 16th of January. Gunhouse not only carries a pretty unique art style, but also offers some pretty unique gameplay, mixing puzzle elements with tower defense. Tasked with the challenge of protecting a group of orphans, you must see off the invading aliens where building puzzle combos will allow you to unleash powerful attacks. Gunhouse plays out in a series of levels which literally never end. Combine this with the upgradable weapons and obscenely big bosses, and Gunhouse may be worth checking out when it hits Nintendo Switch on the 15th of January. Beholder is one of the most original games we have ever seen. The game is set in an oppressive dystopian future where you play as the landlord of an apartment building, but your landlord profession is only a facade for your tenants. Your real job is to spy on your tenants, feeding back any important information to the controlling superiors. Being tactical on how you spy is key, but what information you choose to share with your superiors may be more important. You could use the information for yourself to bribe the tenant. Just make sure you think about your decisions, as with Beholder featuring multiple endings, every decision really does count. 
Beholder is coming to Xbox One and PS4 on the 16th of January. Energy Balance is a tricky puzzle game that emphasises its outcome on mathematics, similar to Sudoku. After a spacecraft has encountered a mysterious anomaly, it loses all power. By completing the progressively challenging maths-based puzzles, you'll restore power to all areas of the ship and be able to continue your journey homebound. Energy Balance is coming to Nintendo Switch on the 16th of January. Nightmare Boy is a classic style 2D action adventure game that plays out in a nightmarish world. After the state of Noctum's King has disappeared and the land is being consumed by evil, it's up to Nightmare Boy Billy to save the day. Progressing through the dark levels you'll encounter some pretty hellish creatures, but exploring every nook and cranny of this world won't only make these encounters easier through loot, but also arm you with the improved abilities to manoeuvre through the Metroidvania inspired stages. Nightmare Boy is releasing on Nintendo Switch on the 16th of January. Worldwide smash hit game that puts you head to head with a star studded cast of opponents in a verbal insult duel to the death. From grizzly wizards to comic book superheroes, these Hollywood. Oh Sir, the Hollywood Roast is a spin off from hit indie title Oh Sir Insult Simulator, which is also releasing on Nintendo Switch this week. The difference here is that you choose to control a character inspired by a Hollywood celeb. The most surprising thing about these insult games is just how deep the verbal battles actually go. Oh Sir, the Hollywood Roast promises to be both louder and ruder than the original and can be picked up from the 18th of January when it releases on Nintendo Switch. And dumber in person. Ouch, that's smart. And whatever you do, don't cross tinsel to insult friends and strangers locally or online from the coziness of your couch. As just mentioned, the other insult game releasing on Switch this week is Osa oh Insult Simulator. The main gameplay is very simple to the previously mentioned title, but rather than controlling a Hollywood inspired character, here you choose from one of five hilariously unique characters. The game can be played alone against NPCs, or you can take to the web in all out insult throwing battles. Oh Sir Insult Simulator is coming to Nintendo Switch on the 18th of January. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Darkest Dungeon released last year on PC and consoles and was instantly liked by both critics and players and now the challenging gothic RPG is making its way to the Nintendo Switch. The core aspect of the game requires you to build up a team of four and venture through a series of dungeons aiming to reach the Darkest Dungeon. The most unique element to Darkest Dungeon's turn based battle system is the fact that monsters aren't your only enemy. You'll also need to effectively manage your team's stress levels. Make no mistake, Darkest Dungeon takes no prisoners. The gameplay is very challenging. I originally played the game back on PS Vita and it is a perfect fit to play on the go. So it should make a great addition to the Switch when it releases on the 18th of January. The Darkest Dungeon. World to the West is a top-down adventure game set in the same universe as hit indie game Teslagrad. The story revolves around four heroes, all of whom you're able to control, including a Tesla Mouncer, an orphan, 
a mind bender and a strong man. As you progress through the contrasting environments, you will learn not only the past of these characters, but also how their lives intertwine. World to the West is coming to Nintendo Switch on the 18th of January. Full Metal Furies is the next game from Celador Games, the developers that brought us to brilliant Rogue Legacy. Full Metal Furies is built from the ground up for multiplayer, offering both local and online options. Team up with your friends to defeat evil monsters and try to restore peace to the war-torn lands. The multiplayer emphasised battles require close teamwork to string together combos and come out victorious. The game does offer a single player mode where you'll switch between selected heroes in combat situations. Full Metal Furies is releasing on Xbox One on the 18th of January. Vesta is an adorable isometric action game where you play as young six-year-old Vesta who is accompanied by her two robot friends. Vesta, bot and droid must venture through the 36 underground levels all in the hope to unlock the secrets behind what's happened to humanity in this desolate underground maze. Vesta is the first game from developers Final Boss Games and looks to be a fun action adventure. The game is releasing on Xbox One and Nintendo Switch on the 19th of January. A PS4 release date will be announced soon. The Aquatic Adventures of the Last Human is an action adventure game that takes an extreme but intriguing look at the future of humanity. A thousand years into the future and people have been forced to live underwater as a result of climate change. Through ongoing research, underwater wormholes have been found, allowing exploration to different planets. Argo 9 is a ship that ventured through one of these wormholes but didn't return for a thousand years and when returning they find out they are all that remains of the human race. As you explore the underwater environments, you'll need to overcome ferocious sea creatures in the search for answers to the downfall of humanity. The Aquatic Adventures of the Last Human is releasing on Xbox One on the 19th of January and PS4 next week. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter originally released on most platforms back in 2016 and now the moody atmospheric narrative adventure is coming to Xbox One and with Xbox One X support this game will look absolutely stunning. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter sees you playing as Paul Prospero, a detective who has received a troubling letter from Ethan Carter. When Paul arrives in Ethan's hometown of Red Creek, he soon realises that Ethan's disappearance isn't the only mystery he's going to need to investigate. If you're a fan of titles like Gone Home or Everybody's Gone to Rapture, then The Vanishing of Ethan Carter is worth checking out when it releases on Xbox One on the 19th of January.
Ever wanted to create a universe? Well, that's what Nucleon allows you to achieve. But to do so, you'll need to overcome a series of brutally challenging puzzles. Starting with a blank canvas, all you need to do is build up the DNA strands represented by numbers. The 77 stages of Nucleon will challenge you to piece this DNA together by counting up, down, or both at the same time, all at an incredibly quickening rate. Hyperfast puzzle game Nucleon is coming to Nintendo Switch on the 19th of January. That wraps up another week of indie games releasing on your consoles. For more information on indie games, why not check out episode 28 of the Indie Credible podcast. Keep up to date with more indie game releases, previews, reviews, let's plays. Make sure you subscribe and check out indie-credible.com.